All right, in this video, we are going to show you how to use the area model to add mixed numbers with that already have common denominators. So let's get started. Now, the idea is, let's, there we are. Uh, so we have one and one fifth plus one and two fifths. And what we want to do is we want to uh, represent that. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a whole number. So there's my whole number, all right? And that represents my one whole right there. Now I'm going to draw another one. So instead, I'm just going to make a copy of it. And I'm going to paste it in. Now that is going to represent my one fifth. So what is that going to look like? That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. All right, so then uh, I'm going to shade this whole thing in to represent one whole. That represents my one whole, and then there, that represents my one fifth. Now we need to do the same thing for one and two fifths. And so there is my one right here, and let's do it in green. So that represents my one. Now to represent two fifths, remember I've got to cut my whole number into five equal size pieces. I'm going to shade in two of them. And so now the idea is addition means combining things. So all we have to do is combine the whole numbers together, combine the fractions together, and that's how we're going to get our answer. And we can kind of see it already that the idea is uh, how many fractions or how many whole numbers do we have all together? We have two whole numbers all together. So I can write this down as we have two whole numbers all together. Now, the idea is how many fractions do we have all together? Now, we don't want students to accidentally say the classic wrong answer, which is 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 5 plus 5 is 10, and get 3 tenths. That's a major common mistake. And really what we want to help students understand is that what we're doing, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, we're combining. So I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to put this up here. And so really what we want students to recognize is that this guy, whoa, go away. This guy is getting moved up here and that this guy is getting moved up here. And so now we have two holes and three out of five, because this is now gone, this is empty. So it's two and three fifths. So just to return that to where it was. Uh, and the idea is, there we go. So we had, oh, I wanna make that go away too. There we go. So there we have one hole and one fifth plus one hole and two fifths. When you add it together, you get two holes and three fifths right there. So let's do um, one more example, uh, one and five eighths plus two and one eighth. All right, so we're gonna begin by drawing our whole numbers, right? So one and five eighths, what is that gonna look like? Oh, let's say, here's my whole, and uh, let's copy that. And there is going to be my 5 eighths. So what does 5 eighths mean? It means we've got to cut it up into eight equal sized pieces. There you go. And we're going to shade that in. So we're going to begin by shading one hole. There's our shading in one hole. And then 5 eighths. One, two, three, four, five eighths. And then for two and one eighth, so there's my one hole, there's another hole, and then lastly, I need to take that guy and cut it up into eight equal sized pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because in order to draw two and one eighths, there's my two holes, one hole, and two holes, 
Now to get the 1 8th right there, I just need to shade in one of those pieces. And so what do we have all together? Well, all together we see we have three holes. And then how many fractions? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five up here, plus one more here. So that's six out of eight, because a whole is eight pieces. So it's three and six eighths. And at this point, we are not going to worry about uh, simplifying uh, our, our, our final answer right here. So that wraps up how we add fractions with mixed numbers with common denominators using the area model to help us really make sense of that whole thing.